Page 14, Big Black Cat. Sure got a lot of notes in this one. Well, I'll go through the process that I use to learn a piece of music. Let's see what we get. I look it over, I see it's a page long. I just want an idea of how long it is. It's about a page. Check the clef signs, they're treble and bass clefs still. Time signature, 4-4 four, four time. That's what we've been doing. So there's four counts in a measure and a quarter notes getting a count. And I look through, I see a bunch of quarter notes and half notes. I don't see any whole notes anywhere, just quarter notes and half notes. So I go through and I try and play the notes. The right hand at the beginning is third finger on the E, and I trust you know the names of the notes. If not, keep playing that or doing that play and say it drill until the names of the notes in the music are automatic to you. Please don't be writing in the names of the notes in the music. You need to know them. And don't be writing in the finger numbers. You need to read the notes, not the finger numbers. Some teachers teach. Go ahead and put in all the finger numbers and read them. I very strongly disagree with that approach. I really do. I would prefer you not read finger numbers. You need a finger number at the beginning to tell you where to put the hand. After that, you're just going to use whichever fingers on those notes. So we have third finger on E here, and that puts the hand here. And in the second line, we have third finger on E here, and that puts here. So we're in C position still. And I'm just going to go through and play these notes. Now on the counting, you don't really have to count quarter notes, it's a beat. Four, so the, the half notes, I count them out. I only do that at the beginning. When you're first trying to figure out what the rhythm is, you count it out carefully. Once you know what the rhythm is, you don't count it anymore, you feel it. The rhythm, because you can feel the pulse. Yeah. In the second line, I'll do that, okay. Third line, we got half notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. It's going back and forth. Okay. So you go through and you get the notes. Okay. Then go back through it carefully, however many times it takes, and get rid of any hesitations. So it's a steady beat. It doesn't matter how fast you go at this point, but no hesitations. And you don't have to look at the keyboard. You can keep your eyes on the music. We need to remember where our fingers are. And once I have that, then I'll think about the dynamics with the louds and softs. They have a P at the beginning. Remember, that is short for piano, an Italian word which means soft. You have to decide what soft is. I don't know. It's just soft to you. Not really soft, just soft. And the se second line, there's nothing, so you stay soft. And the third line, they give you an F. That's short for forte. It's an Italian word means loud. How loud? I don't know, just loud. Okay, you're just playing them loud. And then in the last time, you get another P. Now you're going back to soft. So I put in the dynamics, the louds and the softs. I haven't mentioned it before, but we can start thinking about speed. How fast to play it. At the top, Right above the staff, they have the word quietly. That's not a speed. That's, I didn't tell you anything about how fast it goes. But in music, a lot of times where they're supposed to tell you how fast to go here, like quietly, instead of telling you how fast to go, they give you the mood of the piece. And from the mood of the piece, you decide how fast. It's a personal thing. There's a lot of personal stuff going on in music. I used the term, you got to make it yours. Well, you got to feel the music. We got to get into it. You get past the notes and the rhythms. That's all mechanical. You can do that in a computer. But once you you know what the notes are and you don't have to worry about them, then you start feeling them. And that's what we're ultimately getting into. It's called interpreting the music. A lot of teachers don't teach interpretation. I do, or at least I try to. So we're going to start thinking about that on top of everything else. So keep up. Know the names of the notes in the music and know the names of these five keys on the piano so far. If not, go back and review. Check it. I don't be in a hurry. Just It's okay. But quietly, well, if you were going to sing it, how fast? It, I think as the cat is very cautious.
please don't copy me. You don't have to go that speed. You don't have to be as soft or as loud as I did. You feel the music. Let's play this together very slowly. Now this is after you've learned it. Because again, I put the starting point of this section in the description, so you can always go right to it if you need it. I'm not going to do the louds and softs, I'm just going to play the notes. I'll give us four counts. Let's play it, and hopefully you're playing the same note I'm playing when I play it. One, two, ready, go. Four. 